So, what does MRP include and why it is so difficult to achieve the result? In order to calculate what material is required and when an order can go to production, an MRV process takes into account information on the bill of materials, BOM, production plan and material plan. Let's see how it works in Streamline. Streamline allows you to generate a plan of material requirements based on the forecasted demand of finished products and bill of materials. A bill of materials is a list of the raw materials, sub-assemblies, sub-components, parts, intermediate assemblies, and the quantities of each needed to produce the finished good. In Streamline, to view the imported bill of materials, go to the item, bill of materials, entire bill. The first level of the tree shows codes of finished good and the intended ones. The codes of their components and the quantity required to produce the product is marked by X symbol. Streamline can also calculate the amount of each material and intermediate material needed to build the finished product. To view this information, select the finished product in the tree view and go to the menu, Item, Bill of Materials, Material Product Tree. You can upload your data to the Streamline Lifetime free version and try to use the feature for your business. A material requirements plan is calculated based on the demand forecasts of finished products. Here is basic workflow you can follow when planning material requirements. Generating, viewing, and adjusting the forecast, analyzing, and adjusting the material requirements plan. To generate the forecast and plan, go to the Demand Forecasting tab, opt for the finished item level, set the horizon span to the number of time periods to forecast, configure S off parameters, as long as the forecasts have been generated, it's time to approve them. To view the material requirements plan, go to the Inventory Planning tab. The tab shows a table that contains the material requirements plan, production plan, and optionally purchase plan. To see the items located one under another, sort the table by item type. The type column indicates the item type described earlier. If an item has an empty cell in this column, it's considered as a regular SKU, which is not involved in manufacturing and is only purchased and sold. Streamline generates a purchase plan for such items. To show the entire plans, which include all forecasted periods, go to the reports and check the show entire ordering plan. This will produce you all the ordering plan schedule for your business. Inventory planning has a set of parameters that can be adjusted. Finished and intermediate items have the parameters on hand, quantity to receive, service level, pending sale orders, shelf life, shelf life exceeding, safety stock. Together, they make up a production plan. Streamline is very flexible when it comes to exporting tables and reports. Actually, you can export any table that is shown in the inventory planning tab to an Excel file. The table can be customized to include only desired columns in the inventory report settings shown columns button before the export. Let's export the table by clicking the export report button of the toolbar. On the demand forecasting tab, you probably may have noticed green and red flags beside the items. We call it a money tree. 
that shows overstock and stock out in the set currency on the item level and category as well. The money tree helps to understand the cost savings in eliminated stock outs and frozen capital that Streamline brings. Such savings would easily be multiples of the cost of the application and the application may hopefully be approved in the company. So, we covered the whole process of how to do MRP in Streamline. Done properly, MRP ensures that manufacturers have the right quality of materials and the right time for production to take place. Using Streamline, this process becomes easier to manage and keep an eye on the results. Check our other videos and subscribe to the Streamline Forecasting and Planning channel to get notifications about new videos.